1v1 PvP tier list, okay? This is 1v1 PvP tier list. Since Nemesis is already available on day one, he's still up here. <laughs> A zero star Nemesis in PvP turns six stars. That means you can do two electrodes and Nemesis can just zone you out and kite you out. S tier for sure. Right? And then um, the current bet, the meta. The meta team comp for the build for for my prediction for PvP is gonna be these three. And I'll put just these two down here. Nemesis is just too good. Really. These are all good. Something like this. Like number one, number two, number three. Maybe swap these around. Maybe swap zero and a coco, actually. Right. This is the PvP tier list. This will be your best PvP team comp. Right, this will be your best 1v1 PvP team comp. This requires you to have a lot of PvP knowledge. You would need to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you will get destroyed by other people. Okay? But if you know what you're doing, if you know how to PvP, this is the most versatile team comp. Most versatile team comp. Nemesis. But then, okay, again. This weapon comp for PvP would be the hit and run tactic. You will drag out the, the match for five minutes and you will survive. Both of you will survive at the end and you will win because you have more HP. This is a very, very boring team comp. This is a stalling team comp. <clears throat> but it is, it will be the most consistent to win. This will be the most consistent for winning. And that's why it's tier 0. It's S tier. Okay. This is lame. Very lame. It's because 0 has knockbacks. 0 has iframes. 0 has infinite range. And 0 has healed. Coco has healed. Coco has infinite range if you know how to tap, tab target. Right. And Coco's abilities prevent your shield from breaking. Nemesis, again, has slows. Nemesis has heals. Nemesis can go into the air and attack you while flying around. And then Nemesis has electrodes. When the, zones, when the zone shrinks to the last zone in PvP, the two electrodes are still going to attack you while Nemesis runs around in the air. So this is why this is consistent. Alright? So... Okay, ignoring this, the other better PvP weapons we have. Huma, I put Huma, Meryl. Anybody else? Anybody else up here? I think that's it. Crow, I would put Crow like in high A tier for PvP. <laughs> right? I'd put these guys up here at A tier for PvP as well. Right, Huma has stuns, Huma has great shield break, right? These are all good. If you want to be a bit more aggro, you can swap out either Zero or Nemesis if you don't have Nemesis for Crow, Huma, Meryl, any of these three, and you will still do good with a more aggro, aggro attack style, fighting style. Right, Crow is bottom of A tier because against people that know what they're doing, you're not able to one-shot people. But like climbing the earlier ranks of PvP, the Jetpack Crow basically destroys all the noobs. That's why he's up here. Otherwise, he would be B-tier. Against good players, he would be at B-tier. Alright. The other characters... The other characters... Who do I, what do I even do? Samir's okay. Samir's okay. Uh... King is like hot garbage. I would put like Shiro has some sort of stuns right here. And Tsubasa is like... I don't know. I think this is it. Don't don't even bother with bringing these guys in. Don't even bother. Unless you don't have these, these guys. Not as good. Right? Is that it? That's PvP? Do we just continue on with PvP?
Why is King bottom tier? I mean, if you play King against like Nemesis Zero that's flying in the air, you can't even hit them. Your discharge doesn't even work. Top tier is stall. For sure, top tier is stall. It's the most consistent. That's why I put it up there. <laughs> but yeah, this will be the most boring team comp. Like, very boring to play, but the most consistent. You're going to guarantee wins if you know what you're doing. Okay, PvP tier list done. Um, let's continue with PvP. Let's let's show people. Let's show people what happens when other things get added to the PvP tier list. How about that? All right. PvP tier list when other people gets added. Um, we don't know when Claudia is gonna come. So like Claudia, Cobalt, and Frigg, right? These three are the potential ones that are coming. We're just gonna ignore Buy and Mark. Maybe. Let's just do the CN release order. Look at this. This CN release order. Right? Yeah. <laughs> when Claudia comes, when Claudia comes to the meta, she'll be up here. Okay. Claudia is the counter to the stall comp. Claudia is the counter to stall comp because Claudia's dash can instantly gap close because of the gap close. So when Claudia comes, the stall comp would be a lot, a lot worse, right? Because of Claudia. So Claudia is up here, but again, against people that know what they're doing, Claudia still can't really counter this comp. So I would still put Claudia end of S here, and then uh, after Claudia, Cobalt. Cobalt's not. Cobalt's just not great at PvP. I'll put Cobalt like down here. All right, Cobalt. I'll put Cobalt down here. Cobalt's better than these guys, but still, not the best. And then, um, Frig. Oh God, Frig. Where do I put Frig? I don't even know Frig. If if Mark and Bai doesn't come to the meta, Frig might be. Damn, stall comp would be super OP. I would put Frig like high A. I would put Frig up here. <laughs> right? Frig is very good in the PvP meta currently in CN. But that's because we have Saki Fu like Saki Fua to uh complement Frig. <laughs> but the infinite dashes and stuff for Frig is very good at breaking shield, and then you can use other things to like uh, you can use other things, <laughs> right? I feel like the stall comp would just be be top tier for a while, but like when more things get added, so like when Ruby comes, do we put Mark and Buy in here? Do we put Mark and Buy in here? Because I feel like when Frigg comes, when Frigg comes to the meta, when Frigg comes to the meta, like, the stall comp people would, would have to fall down a bit. This would be more... This would be better, actually. They get dropped to a low, a, like, A tier, and then the, the meta will shift towards being more aggressive when you have Claudia and Frigg. Right? I don't even know if when Frigg comes, maybe Nemesis goes lower too. Hmm. This isn't good enough. Stall comp would still be good, but Zero Coco would go down into the tier list. Nemesis is good, but like, do, do you guys want to see Mark and Buy in here? I mean, we're just going off CN release order, right? If going off C in release order, Nemesis and Frig wouldn't be in here yet. But like, the moment Bai comes in, Bai goes to S tier. Right? The stall comp gets shit. Goes to shit. Right? This is this what this is what happens. When Bai comes. This is what happens. Stall comp is is basically dead. If Bai Bai comes into the meta. And then like I don't know, these guys go down even more. 
I would I would put these guys down to D now. Uh fuck. Something like this? Bai is just so broken. Bai will one-shot you. This is what happened in CN. Bai basically pulls out her discharge and one-shots you when you have like half shield. This PvP tier list. When Bai comes. Right? This is basically what happens. And then like these I don't I don't even these guys are just I would put everybody down here. Because back in CN, Frigg Frig wasn't Frigg didn't exist, right? Nemesis didn't exist. But back in CN when Bai dropped, like I don't even know, man. It just Bai. Bai and Co Coco was up here. This was the meta comp. Where we only have Coco up here because Coco can get you charge before the match starts. So you use Coco to do random dash attacks to charge up your buy discharge and then use Claudia to gap close and then buy discharge to one shot them. Right? This was the meta comp. Everybody else just goes to shit. Right? Compared to other. Like, compared to this meta comp, I would put, like... I don't know, man. Compared to this meta comp, everybody else is, like, here. Like, honestly, I'm not even memeing. I'm not even memeing. Nothing else matters. Not even memeing. Okay, maybe Huma. I would put Huma like high up here. Huma was good still, kind of. <laughs> right? And then and then Mark joins. Mark joins the meta. And then Coco is down. I mean, fuck. It's probably like this now when Mark joins. When Mark joins, it looks like this. Right? When Mark joins, it, it looks like this. And then um now we got Frigg. When Frigg first joined, I, Frigg was pretty much useless. Frigg was down here. And then Nemesis joins. Stall cop basically didn't matter. But like, I would put Nemesis like, maybe like here. I need SS tier just for Mark. How do I make a new, how do I make a new thing? Fuck, Mark goes up here basically. Where, where's triple S tier? How do you use this thing? How do you use this thing? <laughs> Guys, cat. How do you use tier list maker? Add row above, okay. Add row above. Ah oh, shit. Oh this is this is S. Okay. And then we make this like SS? And then we add row above. Okay. Wait, I just added row below. Fuck. This was the meta. I gotta change color. What color do I put? Fuck. Okay, just do this. I don't know. Make this black. I can't see. Damn it, what color do I use? What color do I use? Whatever, good enough. Fucking Marco's here. Marco's here. It's it's not even funny, you use purple, sure. We make a new tier just for Mark. Okay, I think. This is SSS. Right, this this makes more sense now. This make this color scheme makes more sense. Right? If we if we make a tier just for Mark, this this is basically it. This is basically it. I hope people understand now. Right? If the, if there's a quadruple S tier, I would put Mark even higher. Okay? We continue. We continue on. Man, I gotta zoom out just for Mark now. Okay. 
And then, and then, uh, what's who's next banner? Who's next banner? Ruby comes in. Ruby comes in high A tier. Right when Ruby first dropped, and then Cobalt gets bust gets gets bumped up because Cobalt Ruby kind of synergizes. Right, but but still the I think still the buy meta and Claudia is better. Right, and then um. Let's see. Let's keep going. When Saki drops, when Saki drops, this turns into new meta. Right? This turns into new meta. Claudia basically kind of useless now. When Saki comes, like Saki's this 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 will be your your main comp. Saki Frig Mark. Right? Bai is still usable. Right? But not as dominant. But this other buy comp can still work. The Ruby comp can still work. Right? And then like, I don't know, fucking Lin, Lin. What do we do with Lin? Lin comes. Lin goes here. Everybody drops down a tier after Lin comes. But basically Lin ignores you. Lin goes into the air and just destroys you. Probably Lin would go here too. I would put Lin somewhere around here. Around Mark. Because Lin basically ignores mechanics. She flies into the air. And basically just... Right? Everybody else is irrelevant at this point. At this point in time. And then um, Lyra comes in and kind of counters Lin. To an extent. Lyra is the counter to Lin. But yeah. This is about it. This is a PvP comp right now, I think. The tier list for PvP. Like, I don't think these guys are even relevant. Nemesis. I would put Nemesis higher after... When Lin comes? When Lin shows up, Nemesis, I would... I feel like is, like, high A tier. Nemesis goes up. And that's about it. I don't know. Right. So, but basically, if Ruby has a better fire weapon, the hell? Right. So, if Cobalt was stronger, then Ruby would go higher. Right. Ruby is very strong for PvP. It's just Ruby can't really deal with. I mean. Can't really deal with these guys. Ruby is good. Ruby is the new crow, basically. Ruby is the new crow for shitting on noobs. But uh, yeah, not not as good as all the other ones. Cause there's so many iframes. Lin has iframes. Saki has a million iframes. Frig also has an iframe. Skill resets. Like this is it. I don't know when the spear guy. What the spear guy will do, but I I I feel like spear guy is probably also going to be up here, right? So yeah, if Mark doesn't exist, if Mark didn't exist, can I can I? Hello? Mark refuses to go to to. Hello? Do I have to reset this? Mark refuses to go out of the tier list. Yeah. What the fuck? How does tier list maker work? Time to refresh? How do you drag shit out? Once he in, he stays? Mark broke the tier list. Not like this. Right, I'm just gonna add another tier at the bottom then. Add a row below. Call it. No, no, no. It's all... What was this? It was green, right? Add a row below. Call it CN. CN stuff.
There you go. Put Mark back down here. I, I, I don't think buy and mark is coming. Right? So without buy and mark... So if buy and mark don't never existed, right? This, this, this will be the new tier list. Okay. We don't even need SSS tier anymore. We delete the row. And then we delete the row. Right? If mark and buy don't come, mainly just mark, right? If mark don't come, then Lin would be really good. Saki would be really good. Everything else, everybody else goes up. Everybody else goes up. We get a more balanced meta. We get a slightly more balanced meta. Is this it? Yeah. Right? So if, if Mark never existed, everybody else has a has a fighting chance. Meryl would be even stronger. I'll put Meryl like up here, maybe. Something like this, maybe. This will be without Mark. Lynn would be still broken because she can fucking fly. Oh, we forgot about Lyra. Lyra has this instant targeting ability. Uh, Lyra would be up here too. I don't know. This is just a really quick PvP tier list. Didn't really give it that much thought. Lyra teleport too good. Yeah. So yeah, PvP tier list, guys.